Hello and welcome back to another Stand Canvas. Today I'm going to go over um, how my travel art kit worked out for me this summer when we went to uh, the Rocky Mountains. We actually visited a place called Annette Lake and it's just so beautiful there. It makes like a whole loop around this beautiful lake and you're walking in the mountains and the water is clear and there's wildlife everywhere you look. Um, I did alter my kit um, and we knew it was going to rain. Uh, in the forecast it said, you know, there was going to be some rain. And I was like, well, I still want to bring my kit. So I ended up finding this like little waterproof zippered pouch and everything fit in it properly. So I didn't really have to worry too much about, you know, if water gone on it or whatever. And the other uh, thing I altered was I just took a long sheet of watercolor paper and then folded it down. Um, the Bristol cards were very, you know, they would have worked, but I wanted to be able to do longer landscape, uh, you know, pictures with them. And... Uh, so those worked out much better for me um, instead of those little Bristol cards. The rest of the kit I just kept the same um, and it worked out fairly well. I didn't get very much uh, time to sit and just draw. Like this is pretty much, you know, I just sketched. I didn't even take out my watercolors because you'll see in a moment we had a bit of a visitor. So, um, you know, I was just enthralled with that and I wasn't coloring in you know my sketch or anything like that um and like i said it rained so where i'm sitting right now in this picture i'm at um a little pavilion covered pavilion with a picnic table and we ended up having our picnic lunch there um, and it was fantastic i would recommend going to see the rocky mountains if you haven't please do it's like ugh, it's amazing but uh here i'm just doing the whole row of mountains at Annette lake and i'm adding in you know, the forest and things like that. Um, and I don't know if you notice the signs on the table, but it says, you know, don't feed the animals and be wary because, you know, they're unpredictable. And uh, so I had that in the in my mind. And then we got this visitor. Uh, it's a little uh, elk doe or elk deer. And with the group of people I was with, it was pretty amazing. We were all kind of looking at her. And we did see an adult, like a male with the rack, you know, with the horns and everything like that. But thankfully it was just this little lady here and she actually came within like 10 feet of us. So you can imagine I was too busy, like keeping my eyes on her and not really, you know, watercoloring anything. Uh, but it was pretty amazing. And, um, you know, I would totally recommend going there. <laughs> it was, it was a trip that I will never forget. And uh, I hope that my watercolor thing, you know, if you want to do one, make one. Uh, what I did really worked. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.